Today we start with the topic, solve simple interest problems. This is the last topic from this person. So we have the example one in the page 174. I'm going to write the page maybe for you one moment to see the page. And in the example one, we need to find the simple interest. The simple interest. Victoria opens a saving account with a deposit of $300. She will earn 1.6% simple interest each year on her money. How much interest will she earn over five years? Assuming she doesn't add or take in, uh, out any money. So she has a initial amount of money. She opened her saving account uh, one saving account, sorry, and she deposit her money. Okay, what is the interest? I'm explaining this because in the other sections they ask me about interest. The interest is, for example, when you open in a new account, you deposit your money, your initial money, is going to be called the principal later we talk about this, okay? So you deposit in the bank or the a financial institution is going to give you some money during the months and so after, at the final of the year you are not going to have only that money that you deposit you are going to have more and for example if you lend some money for the bank for example the bank give you money you are not going to have to pay only the money they give they are going to obtain they are going to earn more money from you so that's the interest is the difference in the in the money when we use this uh, financial institutions like banks cooperative or something like that okay so the simple interest is the interest that uh, generates during all the year and if you have more than year for example in this case the example one we have five years so the simple interest is the addition of the first year the second year third year the total, okay, the total of the interest during the five years. So in the theory we have, the initial amount is called the principal, the initial amount of money you um, give to the bank or you borrow from the bank. The interest that is applied to the initial amount, uh, to the initial amount only is called simple interest. So in the step one, we need to use the percent equation to find the amount of interest earned in one year. What is the percent equation? Remember about the percent equation? So we have the same equation, only that we change some values according to what we need. In this case, I'm, I need the interest and I need the money, the principles, something like that. So I modify the equation, but it's going to be uh, very similar. So the equation we have is that the interest amount is equal the interest rate multiplied by the uh, principal. The principal then is the amount of money you have. So in the equation we have, we are going to replace the values. What values do we have? The interest amount, we are going to use the variable S, okay? And the interest rate, the interest rate is the percent you are going to have the percent the principal is the original value okay so you can see that it's very similar to the equation we are using since the beginning of this uh, topics so for s you have that um okay this is the interest amount the interest rate the percent is 1.6 percent but we don't use the percent. We need to divide this by 100 to have a decimal. So I have 0 0.016. And I'm going to multiply this by the principal, okay? The um, original amount of money. The original amount was $300. So you only need to multiply in this case and you obtain that S is equal 0 0.016 multiplied by 300 is four dollars with 80 cents okay so i'm going to complete with you the this in words that the simple interest 
earned on the principal in one year, in one year, is four dollars with 80 cents. Okay, so what else we have in this case? I'm going to place this down here so you can see it better. Okay, and you need the interest for five years. They are asking you how much interest will she earn over five years. So what we need to do is to multiply in here the four dollars with 80 cents five times five times okay so this is going to be the result for how many years five so i'm going to write in here the five years and you can see it better this is 45 years and the result of this multiplication you can see that step two the right part of the page we need to multiply the interest earned in one year by five to calculate the total interest that Victoria will earn over five years, okay? You obtain that is $24. In five years, she earned $24. So for example, at the beginning, she deposited this amount. She deposited $300. But after five years, the bank is going to give her 24 more dollars, okay? Because she has uh, her money into their accounts okay do you understand the idea of this so after five years she's not going to be, have only three hundred dollars she's going to have three hundred twenty four okay so in the number two exercise example number two page 175 the next page we need to find the percent of interest okay in this one we need to find the interest amount in the number one but in the number two we are going to have the interest amount and we are going to have the principal we use these two facts to obtain the percent the percent is going to be the interest rate so i'm going to write the equation okay but um, the equation okay i can write the equation and later we complete with the facts interest amount equal interest rate multiplied by the loan amount multiplied by the loan amount so we can replace the values we have but we need to read to the advertisement that appears at the right part okay to the ad that appears at the right part of the page we lend it it says on the topic borrow three thousand four hundred dollars for this car today and pay only eight dollars with 50 cents interest every month every month and you need it in years remember so how many months does the year have 12 so i'm going to multiply this by 12. In the step one, we multiply the interest amount by 12 to find the interest for one year. So if I have that the interest it was 8.50 in one month, we multiply it by the 12th month that has the year. And this is going to be $102. Now we can replace on the formula. Now that we have this, we can replace it on the formula. If you want, I'm going to have more space. Okay. So we use the percent equation to find the interest rate and I replace the interest amount. Remember, it's the lower, it's the lower value we have, the, the least value we have. So it's 102. It's like we have part in the equations for the first examples, remember? So this is the part, the interest amount. This is going to be equal the interest rate I don't know what is the inter interest rate. This is what I need to find. So I'm going to assign this a variable P because remember it's my percent. It's a percent, so I can use the variable P. I multiply it by the loan amount, the amount that she is borrowing for the okay for this agency, Jim's used cars. So I'm going to multiply by three thousand 
400. You already know what we do in this case. You have this number multiplying your variable, so you need to pass it to divide to the other side of the equation. I have 102 divided by 3,400, and this is going to be equal to the variable P. Then we only solve the division and we obtain that P is equal 0 0.03. But again, like in the other examples, can I have this represented in decimals? No, because they are asking you about the percent. They want to know the interest rate, so we multiply by 100. And we obtain that is 3%. So the interest rate, I'm going to write it complete like you have it on the book. The simple interest rate is 3% for one year. The simple interest rate is 3% for one year. Okay. This is for the example two. Now we only have a, a pending exercises, the number three. And I'm going to give you some time at the end, so if you want to ask something, okay? In the example three, we need to find the principal. In this case, we have the percent, we have the interest rate, we have the interest amount, but we don't know what was the original amount of money. So we need to find in here. I'm going to write in here, maybe I have space enough. For the number three, I'm going to copy again the equation. Interest amount is going to be equal interest rate multiplied by the initial de deposit. Okay. So the exercise says, Jack opened a saving account that earns 1.5% of interest. Jake estimates that assuming he neither adds to nor withdraws from his account, okay, uh, he will earn $240 in interest after 10 years. How much did Jake deposit when he opened the account? First, we need to find the amount of interest for one year because what is uh, he is telling you about 10 years. So the amount we have for the 10 years, 240, we are going to divide it by 10 because I want to know just for one year. And this is going to be equal $24, $24 in one year, okay? And later, in this case, we need to replace in the formula, in this one, we need to use the percent equation to find the initial deposit or principal, okay? Principal, we are going to say to the initial deposit. So the interest amount is going to be what? It's going to be this, right? The interest amount in one year is going to be 24. This is equal to the interest rate the interest rate is 1.5%, but we don't work with the percent. We divide it by 100, so we obtain the decimal, 0 0.0515. Now I can multiply this. I'm going to multiply it by the initial deposit. The initial deposit, I don't know what is. That's what I tried to find. So I'm going to use one variable, D. And you can see how easy it is to solve this. If you have this number multiplying, your variable, you pass it to the other side to divide because you want to have the variable alone. 0 0.015 equal D. So you divide 24 by this amount and you obtain that D is going to be 1,600. And we already finished this exercise. So Jake deposit, uh, Jake deposit 1,600 dollars. Yes, that was the uh, initial value he deposited to the bank. So in 10 years, you have the amount, you divide it by 10 to obtain in one year, and later you only find the value we need 
for the equation, okay? So um, I'm going to give you some time to have something after this exercise. I'm going to create a new space then to solve with you the next page, 176. Maybe not complete, but I try to help you to solve some exercises. Page 176, you have the key concept. Simple interests represent a proportional relationship between the yearly, uh, the yearly interest and the principal or initial amount. The ratio of yearly interest to principal is the interest rate. Okay. The time you have represented in years at the right part, you have a drawing. You have the principal is the amount of money, the first amount of money you are going to deposit to the bank or to the cooperative or something like that. The yearly interest is the interest that is uh, for each year. So during the years, you are obtaining more interest. And I think that that's all. So the simple interest is the addition of all the years, OK? The, all the money for all the years. The first question you have is, do you understand how does simple interest show proportional reasoning and relate to the percent equation? Okay, a proportional reasoning, proportional relationship we are working in. And the simple interest, we are going to solve this question with the first line you have in the key, quest, uh, key concept. Simple interest represent a proportional relationship between the yearly interest and the principal. And later we complete with the last time, line. Simple interest represents a proportional relationship between the yearly interest and the principal. The ratio of yearly interest to principal is the interest rate, okay? So now we go to the number two. The number one, you only need to copy, okay, the theory. So in the number two, reasoning. If the interest earned on an account after two years is $15, how much would, uh, will it be after 10 years? So you already know that in two years, two years, sorry, two years, the amount of money is $15. So what we need to do guys, only to multiply by five because we want to know in 10 years, you multiply the two years by five, you're going to obtain the 10 years. So in 10 years, is going to be the multiplication. $15 multiplied by five. So you obtain that in 10 years, they are $75, okay? Sorry, $75. Now in the number three, we have something more. In the three is more interesting, I think. Angelina is deciding which bank would give her the best simple interest rate on a $300 deposit. One bank says that she will have $320 in her account if she leaves the principal for two years. Is this enough information for Angelina to find the interest rate? Yes, right, and we can find this. We can copy the equation. First, we copy the equation. What she want to know? She know the original deposit and she know the difference, so we need to find the percent. In this case, the percent with the formula for the slave is the interest amount is going to be equal interest rate multiplied by the uh, loan amount. 
or the deposit, okay? Is it could be the loan amount or we can change it if you want. Loan amount is because I was taking from the example too for the card, but we can uh, we can have it as the initial deposit, okay? It's going to be the same. We only uh, replace in the format. How are we going to obtain the interest amount, guys? Only remember that the interest is what we add to the original value. So if I have the $300, $320, I subtract the original amount she has, I obtain $20, right? That's the only thing that you need to do to find the interest amount. But this is for two years, $20 in two years. So I need to divide the $20 by two because I want to know only for one year, it's going to be $10. $10 one year, I'm going to write in here, so you don't get confused. So now we have the interest amount and for one year, I'm only going to replace the values that I need in the equation. So for one year, I have $10. This is going to be the interest rate. I don't know the interest rate. I'm going to use a variable P because I want to find the percent. Multiply by the initial deposit that is three hundred dollars. Okay. Sir, Tell me. Um, I have a question. Um, 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 can you answer me in Gmail, please? Kiara, I told you that. Okay. I told you that. So I think that your doubt is clear now. Okay. I am going to answer you when i Me check sir? everything on friday okay so we only finished this and we i'm going to ha uh, give you some time please okay so this is the variable p remember you have the 300 multiplying so you need to pass it to divide 110 divided by 300 so what is the result for p p is going to be 10 divided by 300. This is 0 0.03. And we multiply this by 100 to obtain the percent. So the percent is 3%. We have 3.3%, but I'm only going to take the whole number in this case. So the what we can answer for this, so the interest rate is going to be 3%. The interest rate is going to be 3%. So do you have any question about this example or is about other thing? Okay, if you don't have uh, questions about this example, we can finish in here. Remember, you finish the page 176, 77, and 78. This is the last for this um, topic, okay? And tomorrow we have the study guide. I'm going to give you the directions tomorrow. And okay, don't worry, it's easy. There's only five exercises. If you study and practice, you are not going to have any problem. So I'm going to finish the recording in here, and I'm going to give you one minute if you want to ask something or say something about the class or you have any doubt. Mr. Okay. Uh, one so, question. Tell me. The study guide is in the platform. No, we are going to solve it during the class, okay? Okay, Mr.